Just a quick one before we get into the video. I do have a website where I sell natural skincare and hair care. It's www.lashoskinandhair.com. The link will be in the description box. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my mailing list just down the bottom of the homepage or you can shop on my website. I have tons of natural skincare and hair care handmade right here in Ghana. I also have a Teespring account now where I sell merchandise. The link will be in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Hi guys, I hope you guys are well in this video. I am going to show you the Ghana transport system, okay? We're gonna go taxis, we're gonna go chochos, we're gonna go basically Ubers, all the forms of transportations that there are, okay? So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Um, I'm taking my car to the mechanic, so there's no better day to do this, okay? When I have my car, there's no public transport. <laughs> so today that I'm not gonna have my car, I'm gonna share my experience with you. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you soon okay guys the first mode of transport we're going to be looking at is uber uber works here just as well as it does in any any other country so you basically put in your request for your look from your location and then it will estimate the price and how long it will be till the driver's there and yeah it works really well like it, it's quite efficient it's pretty affordable and the good thing is the price is set because sometimes they know the difference between the foreigners and the people that live in ghana so the taxi drivers be going crazy with the estimates and stuff like that okay so you guys can test out uber and see how you go the method that i found works is when it's peak time uber can be a little more expensive and you may be able to negotiate a better deal with a taxi driver but when it's not peak time uber is pretty good and they're generally quite comfortable and clean and all that good stuff okay so that's the first one we're testing out i traveled for i think it was a three kilometer journey and i only paid five ghana cities guys so it was really really affordable and i think it's yeah it's the go-to um tr public transport that i would use if i didn't have a car I personally think having your own car in Ghana is cheaper it's just easier to get around like it's convenient it's comfortable and I think it's cheaper the only way public transport would be cheaper is if you want to go the church or route but obviously it's not that comfortable okay so if you want to be comfortable then I think um, make getting a car your priority that's if you drive okay but in saying that as well if you want to meet other people and you don't know anyone then maybe public transport is the best way to go so you decide what you prefer okay guys So the next transportation system we're going to try out is our taxi okay guys the taxi is the most common one i think now ubers have kind of taken over but taxis have been the most common ones and they're great because they can be negotiable if you know the system if you know what they should charge you generally speaking you can negotiate a good deal before you get into one of these the one we got here was very rickety like very very old and stuff like that but it still got us from point a to point b we basically returned to where we came from and we paid the same amount that we had paid when we went into the uber so we paid five ghana cds for the taxi as well if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe by clicking that red button and turn on your notification bell by pressing the bell on the right hand side of the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up it really really does help me out a lot you guys my goal is to get to 50,000 by my birthday which is in September on the 23rd of September so help me get there by commenting even if it's just an emoji uh, subscribe if you haven't already and yeah give this video a thumbs up it really does help me out a lot so with the taxis there's another form of taxis they call them simiwaha simiwaha that means like drop me here drop me here so basically that's like a taxi that's going 
to a particular location so it will basically pick up people that are all going to that location and they all share the fee and pay so the lady sitting at the front is a random lady that i don't know okay and for this we basically went on a four kilometer journey and it was three ghana cds per person so basically the driver makes 12 cds per trip he said to me that if i had taken the car on my own and i didn't want any other people to join then it will be 10 cds for the same distance so this is another good way to save money um if you know where you're going and if you if there are taxis that go that way and they basically pick up a, a number of people to go to that direction okay So for this, we paid three Ghana CDs, which is 0 0.52 US dollars. Finally, we're gonna do the chore chore. That's one of the most popular ways of traveling around. It's very, very cheap. And basically it's a big bus that loads several people till it's full and it will take you to the same destination basically. Well, not the same destination, but the destination is all in the same direction. So you can get off on the way or you can get off at the last stop. For this, it was a four kilometer journey back home and we paid one Ghana CDs and 80 pesos per person. So as you see, it's very, very cheap, but it's just that there's a few more people in there and it's not that comfortable either, but you know, it's an experience, you know, so why not? You can test it out whenever you ring Ghana guys I hope you guys have found this video helpful there are trains as well that go to certain areas but um, the one that leaves the area that I live in goes like pretty further away so I'll have to make a day out of it if I'm gonna go on that train so if you guys would like to see that let me know in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss another upload from me guys I appreciate your ongoing support thank you so much for the love and don't forget to follow your bliss so now life is short follow your bliss na nipa ye den follow your bliss na di ebe si bia ye and follow your bliss na den na mada take care guys i'll see you in my next one bye